<laughs> Today's a very exciting day. I'm going crazy. Let's talk about it. But before that, I'm excited to announce that today I'm working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win an Audi RS e-tron GT and support a great cause. Omaze is a fundraising platform that not only donates money to great causes, but also gives you a chance to win amazing prizes, all while helping those in need. And right now, Omaze is running a charity event to raise money for Oscars Kids, which is an organization created to help fight the deadly medical condition known as DIPG. By entering the sweepstakes with Omaze, not only will you be helping people all around the world, but entrants will have the chance at winning an Audi RS e-tron GT, which is a beautiful all-wheel drive electric vehicle with a range of 232 miles, capable of 637 horsepower, an acceleration from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, and a top speed of 152 miles per hour. And with how insane this vehicle is, I really want to hear what you would do if you won in the comments below. So for your chance to win an Audi RS e-tron GT, go to omaze.com slash graphically challenged and enter now. And remember, all donations support the amazing work of Oscars kids. Alright, so today we have a lot of info to go over all the way from GPU prices collapsing to getting our first real images of the RTX 4090 and much more. So let's get right into it, starting off with talking about how GPU prices could be collapsing even further in just two days. But what exactly is going to be happening that's going to cause such a massive collapse? Well, if you haven't been paying attention to the whole mining scene, it caused a massive issue for gamers during the GPU shortage and was a massive contributing factor that made it much, much harder for gamers to try and pick up a GPU. Now, a lot of the people who were picking up GPUs to mine were actually mining a cryptocurrency called Ethereum. And again, in just two days, it's going to be moving over to proof of work, which means that you can no longer mine that cryptocurrency with these GPUs. Now, there are going to be some people who are going to continue to hold on to their GPUs and mine other cryptocurrencies, but Ethereum by far has the highest market cap, which means it's going to be the most profitable coin to mine, meaning that as soon as it moves over to its proof of stake algorithm and all these other people move to the other coins, well, it's going to become a situation where the difficulty gets so high that the profitability is going to be much, much lower. And I think what's going to end up happening is you're going to see a lot of these miners actually go ahead and sell their GPUs on the used market in places such as eBay or maybe even locally. And this is only going to contribute to the massive collapse in GPU pricing that we've been seeing going on. So I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention that yes, we're literally only two days away from this happening, uh, depending on when you're watching this video. So if you're sitting there considering buying a GPU right now, I highly, highly suggest you don't do that because this is going to be very, very exciting news. And honestly, we could be seeing possibly the biggest collapse in history just right around the corner. But as exciting as that information was, guys, we have even more exciting information to go over in regards to the RTX 40 series as we got a ton of new leaks today just posted over on places like Twitter in a bunch of different forms. And the first thing I want to talk about is we actually have our first official images of the RTX 4090 when it comes to some AIB models. Now, the models in question do appear to be a Zotac gaming model, and what you're seeing here on screen right now is actually the box art, which does does definitely look 100% official and signals to me that yes, these cards are basically ready to be launched. And by the way, if you don't know, these things will be getting revealed on September 20th during the GTC 2022 keynote that'll be done by the CEO Jensen Huang. So we're not too long away from that as well. And actually, there's even more images that were posted. And specifically, we can actually see an image here of a bunch of different RTX 4090s lined up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these things are going to be some absolute chunks. In fact, taking a closer look here, it does indeed appear to be a four-slot cooler on this Zotac RTX 4090, which is just absolutely insane. So this is definitely going to be one of their higher-end models. And honestly, we're reaching a point here, guys, now where where do we even go from here in terms of air cooling? I mean, we're already at four slots. What are we going to go to, like, five-slot coolers next? Or maybe we're going to go to water cooling or something like that? Because, yeah, when we're talking about four-slot coolers now, yeah, things are definitely getting a little bit ridiculous. But overall, if you take a look at the graphics card, it definitely does indeed, again, look like an RTX 4090. It's a massive cooler, and honestly, it looks like to me that these things are basically going to be ready to ship at any point in time. So I think these things are going to be absolute monsters. They look chunky. They look absolutely fantastic, and I cannot wait to see what the other AIB models are going to end up looking like. Now, if you're wondering about the legitimacy of these images, you know, they do definitely look real, but 
but also it comes from a Baidu forum. Uh, this type of stuff actually does end up getting leaked over on these forums because this is a Chinese forum. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, guys, this is definitely real. And these things are definitely going to be launched very, very soon. But wait, that's not all. We actually have even more leaked information about the RTX 4090 and starting off with actually some gigabyte cards. It looks like over on the Eurasian Economic Commission or EEC, there's a bunch of listings for various RTX 4090s from Gigabyte as well. In fact, we have the Extreme Water Force, Extreme Water Block, Ors Extreme, Ors Master, Ors Elite, Gaming OC, Gaming, Eagle OC, Eagle, WinForce 3X OC, and WinForce 3X. So actually 11 different models that Gigabyte's gonna be working on. So it definitely does appear once again that the RTX 4090 is ready to be launched. And then actually we have even more information about the RTX 4090 as it looks like at least according to a WCCF Tech article, we have some info on the release dates for the 4090 and 4080 and here's what they had to say about it. Quote, the latest launch rumor comes from senior editor of Chipel, Napoleon, who states that Nvidia is actually ahead of schedule with its GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards. It's reported that the RTX 4090 will indeed be showcased at GTC 2022 and that the card will be launching in October, which is something that we had stated back in June. Interestingly, the editor also states that the RTX 4080 is also going to launch a month after the RTX 4090 in November, which is also something that we had said a few months ago in our exclusive. So that's absolutely fantastic news to hear. I know there's some people out there who are starting to claim that the RTX 40 series was going to be delayed or something like that. That never made any sense to me, and like I've been saying for some time now, guys, I would expect the RTX 4090 to launch first, followed by the 4080 one to two months later and then followed by the 4070 another one to two months later so you don't really have to wait too much longer the 4090 is just around the horizon and then finally if you're wondering about the performance of the rtx 4090 4090 ti in a previous video we did talk about some leaked scores for the rtx 4090 which actually showed it in some cases to be like twice as fast as an rtx 3090 in times by extreme but we actually have even more information on the rtx 4090 ti as according to some leaked benchmarks over in times by extreme which will be popping up right now it looks like this thing is actually going to score over 24,000 points in time spy extreme which is well over double the amount of performance of a 3090 and it's even over double the amount of performance of a 3090 tie which is definitely very very impressive and from what i could glean it was also not overclocked either so this is just going to be a stock model of some sort of rtx 4090 ti and honestly guys a score of 24,000 in time spy extreme is absolutely blowing my mind i honestly almost couldn't even believe believe it this actually exceeded my expectations so yeah the rtx 40 series could be even more powerful than we were originally thinking it seems like some of those earlier leaks talking about over 2x the amount of performance might have actually been right and maybe i was even being a little bit too conservative at least when it comes to its synthetic benchmark type of performance so i'm super excited for the 4090 and the 4090 ti's it looks like they're gonna be bringing absolutely massive amounts of performance the only question is is it actually going to be attainable in terms of its price? But hey, that's just what I think. How fast do you think the RTX 4090 is really going to be? Also, would you like me to live stream the event during which they're going to be revealing the RTX 4090? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.